Hey guys, this is CubeHeads101, and this is going to be my first ever uh, ZZ walkthrough solve. Now, I hope in the future in my walkthrough solves I'll do multiple scrambles um, per video. Uh, in this video, since this is basically a trial, I'm only going to be doing uh, one solve. Now, when I do uh, this scramble, this is a completely random scramble, um, I'm going to do it with my, um, with my blue in front and yellow on top, because that's the color scheme I use when I solve using ZZ. If you use a different color scheme, I highly recommend you use that to mess it up, so that way you can tell where uh, bad edges are and you're comfortable with uh, the solution. So my scramble um, will be in the description. I'm about to do it, so... And I'll have a look around. Okay, so um, this EO line probably will not be optimal, um, but what I see are there are six bad edges, and I see that not from counting the bad edges specifically, but by trying to plan out the EO line in my head and seeing what would happen if I did various things. So I see right away there are um, there are three bad edges on the back face, um, and this edge is good. So if I do um, a B prime, I'll have a bad edge that will get shot down to the down face. And I can easily manage in my head to see, okay, if I have one bad edge on the back face, then I would have one, two, three um, on the front little area. I have one, two, three. Um, so I can see pretty immediately I have six bad edges. And what I said is pretty much what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do a B prime, and I'll just do it now. Then I'm going to shoot that edge over to the right, so like that. And then I need to utilize these two to, to occupy um, these two positions. So I'm going to bring it up, doing an R prime and then a U prime. And now I have this green on the top there. So I'm going to choose to do a B instead of a B prime so that I get the green on the opposite side of the blue. And then I can um, create the line in three more moves after my six move edge orientation. Um, now, making the first pair, I immediately see that this and this are tucked together. Now this might not be the best idea since the red um, cross piece is over here, but I can also deduce pretty um, pretty clearly knowing that this is um, green orange. Now I just saw it, but even before that, um, I know this isn't the, isn't uh, green yellow or something. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's green orange, and I see this orange right here. So I'm um, I know that this is my orange cross piece. So I know that neither of my cross pieces are on the right side. So um, I'm just going to go ahead with these two that are connected and link them up like that, bring the red up, and sink them down. And when I sunk them down, I saw this in the back here, this blue and red corner come up. And this blue and red edge is right there, so I can connect them with the U U2. And now I'm going to sink that pair right there. And now I have this guy and this guy, and I have this uh, nice little, little cross piece. So I'm actually going to use the cross piece in the corner. I'm going to tuck them together like that. And then um, the edge is down there, so I'm going to connect them. And I finally get something like that. Now, I'm on my last F2L pair now. And what I think I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to move them out of the way, bring that down, then get them opposite one another, and then sink them in like that. And now I'll do OLL, COLL like that, and um, this is a cuboid friendly R perm. And like that. So that was uh, my first walkthrough solve. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Cube Heads 101. Uh, subscribe and goodbye.